Little pearls swimming in creamy custard flavored with vanilla or lemon. Many of us have fond and others not so fond childhood memories of tapioca pudding. I don't even know what tapioca pudding is. Tapioca. It's gotta be some American thing, right? Although this staple dessert of the 1970s went out of vogue for a while, today it's making a comeback. What you may not know, however, is that the tapioca we use is a refined product whose parent plant is filled with dangerous substances that, absent proper preparation, can result in cyanide poisoning and even possibly death. Cassava, the plant from which tapioca is made, was one of the first domesticated more than 12,000 years ago in South America. Migrating northward, it became a staple crop for people throughout the pre-Columbian Americas. Taken to Africa by the Portuguese, today it is the third largest source of carbohydrates in much of the world, after rice and maize. Hardy and nutritious cassava, also called yucca, which is distinct from the yucca plant, refers to the shrub as well as the starchy root that is harvested for food. There are different varieties of cassava, but generally they are split into two different classifications, sweet and bitter. Although both are toxic, bitter cassava may have as much as 400 milligrams of cyanogenic glycosides per kilo, making it potentially eight times more toxic than sweet cassava. Cyanogenic glycosides are present in a startling number of plants that are cultivated for human consumption and more than 2,000 known plants total. Not inherently toxic, cyanogenic glycosides are transformed within humans and animals after the plant tissue has been macerated, when enzymatic hydrolysis by beta-glucosidase releases hydrogen cyanide. This is a chemical that is very toxic to people. And by the way, cyanide poisoning works by not allowing the body to use oxygen, mainly via inhibiting the cytochrome C oxidase enzyme. This means that the blood remains oxygenated after it passes through your body and comes back to your lungs. Thus, it causes the body to suffocate even though a person is otherwise breathing normally. There are several types of these cyanogenic glycosides, including amygdalin, durin, linamarin, lotostralin, pronacin, and taxophilin. Not sure if I'm pronouncing those right. I looked them up. Some of them are there. Some of them are not. And these are found in pretty common foods, including almonds, sorghum, cassava, and lima beans, stone fruits, think peaches, plums, apricots, and nectarines, and bamboo shoots. We don't get sick from eating these products because either by the time they reach us, the offending substances have been eliminated, for example, blanched almonds and cans prepared bamboo shoots, or we don't eat the toxic part, for example, the pit of the stone fruit where the poison precursor resides. To prepare cassava, for consumption for the sweet variety, mere peeling and thorough cooking is all that is required. However, with the bitter variety, not only is it peeled, but the root is then grated and soaked in water for long periods to leach out the poison. In addition, the grated bitter root is allowed to remain in water until it ferments, and then it is thoroughly cooked, where this last step in the process finally releases the remainder of the dangerous compounds. Properly processed cassava is eaten grated as chips and frequently ground into flour and baked into crackers and breads. To make the pearls that are seen in the United States, the moistened starch is then pressed through a sieve and, depending on the intended use, such as for use in pudding or drinks, the size may either be small or large. When the plant is not properly treated, cyanide poisoning can occur. Symptoms include a drop in blood pressure, rapid pulse and respiration, headache, dizziness, pain, vomiting, diarrhea, confusion, and even convulsions. A lethal dose is in the range of 0.5 to 3.5 milligrams per kilo, with children being particularly at risk due to their small size and big appetites. Sometimes relatively low doses of toxins remain in prepared cassava, such that people are unaware, at least at first, that they are consuming it. This may lead to chronic cyanide intoxication, which can result in thyroid and neurological problems, among other issues. So I really hope you found that video interesting. If you did, please do hit that thumbs up button below and don't forget to subscribe. We've got brand new videos just like this every day of the week. Also, please do check out my other channel called Biographics. You will find a link to that below. And as always, thank you for watching.